Ah, all right. So weird playing like this. Holy shit. What up, what up? What's going on, Gan? What's going on, Rob, Bangalore, XXX, X? How we doing? What's going on, Fort? How we doing, Fort? Jesus, Murphy, it's so uncomfortable. What the heck? What's going on, gang? Yo, gang, we got a new chair um, yesterday, and today we are sitting with our hands on our desk because our chair is so tall that we can't actually put our hands under the desk anymore. And now, I have to completely get used to this new feeling of my hands being on my desk, and it is very, very awkward. I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue doing this. It's either that, or I have to step back away from my desk, and that's going to feel very... to, like, push myself away from my desk, like, well, I guess I could do this, I guess I could do this. It just feels so weird, like, my arms are, like, fucking right up on my... Shit. Yo, op with the monthly Apex pack. Thank you so much, my dude. Welcome to the live stream. Appreciate the dono, homie. Go check out all those videos in the memberships only channel. We're going to be doing a Apex movement coaching session here in a little bit, gang. So stay, here's my mouse. Stay tuned for that. That will be starting in about um, two, three minutes. I'm just going to get a little warm up ski in here. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, Wolvie? Welcome back, Wolvie. Out of all the lawn chairs in the. <laughs> with the ultra tall office chair, yeah. We went from getting the summer 2015 Walmart um, lawn chair to an actual decent office chair. And now we have new issues. Before, our, our back our back was an issue. And now our main issue is literally just <laughs> not being able to put our hands where we want our hands to be. Happy New Year. Appreciate you, Op. Alright, let's go grab a zip line here. Oh, shit. Do you think Apex is dying? No, definitely not. I think um, this season's kind of dry. Like, the new map is really sweet. Um, I think that next season, though, is going to be awesome. So, apparently, next season, we're actually not supposed to be getting a legend. Apparently, next season, they're focusing on legend reworks. So I think Wraith is going to get a slight rework. Um, we might see like some other very overpowered legends like Seer get re reworks. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I just know that... I don't know for a fact, but um, I, I keep hearing that Apex is going to be like kind of taking a moment to address a lot of the issues that are happening right now. Jesus, Murphy. So bad. What are my settings do? They feel super slow. We'll leave them. Whatever. We're not going to change them. Alright. Let's message our dudesters and let's see if we can get this movement session going. So, gang, today is going to be a kind of. Maybe. It's probably going to be a little bit drier than what you guys are used to. We're not really going to be, like, getting any gameplay in. For the most part like we're not gonna be playing pubs we're not gonna be like killing teams and rolling through teams this is mainly just gonna be like how to do certain mechanics how to learn movement um and you know things similar to that so if you're expecting gameplay i'm sorry that's just that's not what today's stream is gonna really be all about um we got a one hour movement session and then we will be hopping on into some pubs after that so it's gonna be one hour of movement and then maybe one hour of pubs You send me your in-game name and platform, please. And hey, maybe if this person doesn't answer us, let's just say, let's just say homie doesn't show up, then we'll just, we'll just um, hop in the pubs for like an hour or two. Man, Apex is lagging right now. Using grapple. Imagine some Pathfinder just did that to you, like they just pulled up on you. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I can't hit that wall bounce. District, how do you turn aim assist off on PS4? You go into your controller, you go advanced, look controls, and then turn off your target compensation, and that's your aim assist. But you can only do that if you play on ALC. If you turn off your ALCs, so you go back to playing like regular setting, your aim assist won't turn off. Yo, Reckless with the monthly donator. My oh, man, thank you so much, homie. Appreciate the love and support, my man. You make sure to go check out all those exclusive videos up in the, um, up in the, what you might call it, <laughs> the membership only tab. My bad, homie. Yeah, hit that. So tough, dude. Okay, where is... You actually lowered your response curve and allowed your speed to compensate for it. It feels great getting more one max. Huge, dude. Yeah, dude. Like, a lot of people, they notice right away as soon as they lower their... As soon as they lower their response curve, they just notice that they start hitting more, like, frequent shots. Like, they can stay on target a little bit easier. The only thing that's tough about having a really high response curve is when you're up close like this, it can be really hard to keep your cursor on the person when they're moving around just because of how extra sensitive it is. But, like, when it comes to, like, one magging and recoil control... People notice that it becomes significantly easier. Hold on. Can you show us a quick way to do a 180 tap strafe? So if you're on mouse and keyboard and you're trying a 180 tap strafe, something that you need to understand is that you're not just using your scroll wheel to turn around like you would do like a 90 degree tap strafe. Instead, what you have to do is you need to actually hold a left um, or right like key, like an input. Right, so let's just say you want to like make a left 180 turn like that. You'd actually have to hold A as you make that tap strafe. And it's the same thing with um, controller too, right? If you're on a controller and you're trying to do a 180 tap strafe on PC, let's just say you're going to like turn to the right this time. You can't just push forward. Well, I mean, you can on controller, right? But you can't just push forward because you're going to not get that full 180. You're going to get like a 160 or like a 150 like that. Unless maybe you do it like super quick. But it works best if you kind of like pay attention to my analog stick here, with that left stick. If you bring it to the side like that, I just got a dead slide. Right, but you need to input that left or right input like that. You'll notice that now you can really start making those much sharper 180 turns like that. That's really useful if you need to do something like that. Right, so now you can do a really sharp 180 turn, really sharp 180 back. And then you can just quick scope, no scope that guy right there. Cock that back, 180 tap strafe, miss your Kraber shot, bunny hop back, 360, come back, get that in, grapple away, come over here, tap strafe back. Oh, I just missed the tap strafe, my bad. Grab your new Kraber, come back over, super jump, miss. Reckless with the $1 super chat. My bad, bro. Thank you so much, homie. Appreciate the love and support, my guy. Yo, District. By the way, guys, if you type District when you leave your when you leave your message in chat, it highlights my name. It's a little bit easier for me to see when you're, like, trying to get my attention as opposed to, like, maybe replying to somebody else in the chat. So it's just, it's easier for me to kind of, like, read chat if you just put District in there. Just keep that in mind. Homie says, hey, District, how can I play cover better? Yeah, right? Like, the main thing that we're doing when... Oh, why is it not shooting? The main thing that we're doing, like, or the main thing that you just want to practice when you're playing cover is not to come out this far, right? We want to make sure that we play as tight to the cover as we can. So a good rule of thumb is, you know, if your cursor, right, if you can hit them with the dot, then that's perfect. That's fine. This is a little risky bisky, and then this is just asking to get one magged, right? Because now the amount of time that it takes you to come all the way back into cover, one, one one right it's just it's super long if i can hit 78 imagine this right imagine you come all the way out here and now you want to move back into cover you can get hit for like 111 
right? So as opposed to if you're here, you can go 36, 36, 36, and that right there is very close to 111. But every single time you come back in, you avoid receiving maybe like 20 damage. So you can put in the same amount of damage doing this as doing this, right? The only difference is, is that you expose yourself a little bit less, right? And then you can save a little bit more health. And that's the main thing, right? And we're going to be making a, like, um, a how to drop 4K games guide um, this week. My goal is to get it done by this weekend, or I guess by next weekend because it's Sunday right now. And basically the whole concept of how you're going to be dropping these higher damage games isn't by hot dropping. If you watch any of my videos on my channel, I don't hot drop at all when I drop 4Ks. I always land away from where all that action is, and I literally drop 4Ks by just fighting teams, right? And as you fight teams, as long as you practice staying alive and you practice staying in the fight, you're going to be playing a lot better. I mean, sorry, you're going to be putting in more damage. The longer you can stay alive, the more damage that you can be putting in. Gang, what is going on with my fucking screen? This chair made me taller, and now my screen isn't the same height as my eyes, and everything just feels so skewed. I can't... I need to get, like, a new desk now. I bought it. I bought a four, almost $500 chair. And now I'm going to have to buy a fucking $1,000 desk just so I can see what the fuck I'm looking at. Holy shit. Oh, I didn't have an angle. District, can I book and pay with PayPal as well? I have no credit card. Yeah, so Danny, that's a huge question, my dude. Um, I know a lot of people don't have credit or debit cards. Um, that's totally cool. If you want to hit me up on Discord, dude, I'll set up a I'll set up a personalized um, link for you, or I'll set up a special link for you, and it will be with PayPal. So if you just want to let me know, um, like what you're trying to do, um, hit me up on Discord! Exclamation mark Discord! If you're not in my Discord server, and then from my Discord server, you can just message me. And we'll s I'll set up something custom for you, okay? I used to have PayPal and debit options on my website. It used to say PayPal right next to the to the option, but um, it was taking up too much space on my website and it didn't look clean, so I just removed all the PayPal options. Um, homie says, um, District, what are some good controller aim settings? So I don't recommend anyone play a specific setting. You rock whatever you vibe with. Lower response curves are always going to be comfortable for me personally. I suggest people try to play between 10 and 0 response and then go as low dead zone as possible. Everything else is preference. Like all this here, that's all preference. But 10 to 0 for the response and go as low as you can on the dead zone. Dead slide, cool. Mm. Gang, we might just go hop and play some pubs. Homie's not answering me back for the session today. They didn't include a Discord, so I also can't Discord call them. Oh shit. It's gotta be in January, right? Fuck. Totally forgot about that session. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. It happens all the time. A lot of the time, I, I'm, I'll be like, hey gang, I'm gonna go live, I have a coaching session later tonight. Come, come stop by, and then the person doesn't show up for their session, and then I just don't go live. What loadout can you use to give most district? What <laughs> I hate talking again, chat district. Um, what loadout can you use to give the most damage? Something for range and something up close, like like things that I like to use for like damage input would be like R301 because it's like like it's super consistent. Like you can put out four or five bullets really really quick, and then that's like 50 damage right there. Right? Or wingman. If you hit one wingman shot, that's like 45 damage. Right? You hit 245s, that's 100 right there. So you only need to, you only need to hit like 20 wingman shots, and you're close to a 2k. Right? And 20, 20 wingman shots might seem like a lot, but if you have 
like forward to getting my hands if you have like two stacks of sniper ammo like you can be shooting non-stop i'm the jump master no pressure it's, it's just about how often can you shoot so i would say like anything that puts in high damage longbow's like pretty okay wingman's really good um r301 i like car car's a really good one Yo, Sloth with the sh Sloth, bro, you want shoutouts every day, homie. Shout out Sloth. For having the smallest toes in South Africa. Homie Deadass has like the tiniest toes ever. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. 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 Come to my building, it's secure. Oh. It happens, bro. It's like sometimes it just happens. And you just can't control it. It happened. Alright, let's just leave it at that. Um Darkside Online District just wanna say started Apex a month ago since MS2. I don't know what MS2 is, maybe I'm just stupid. MW2 maybe? Uh, yeah, W is next to S, so I think you mean Modern Warfare 2 was released. Your content has helped so much. Thank you. You're more than welcome, my dude. My goal is to provide as much free content as possible to help you get to where you want to be. And then if you want to support your boy, you can always drop a dono. Or book a coaching session and get that personalized one-on-one -on -one sessions with exclamation mark coaching in the chat. Everything comes from the earth. But you're more than welcome, my dude. Like I said, we got we got lots planned for 2023. Like we have courses that we're going to be releasing our first, our forced, what the fuck? Our fort, our first coaching course is going to be completely free to everybody. The whole concept of this course is going to be how you can like go pro, right? So it's not going to be like how to get better, but more so like the steps you need to take if you want to actually go pro, right? And there's a lot to it. It's, it's not what you would think. There's a lot of details in there that you just don't know. That's going to be completely free. I think we're planning on doing that next week. We're going to have a whole, like, pre-made courses. So let's just say you can't get one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, because obviously I can only coach so many people at once. You can buy a course. It's going to have all the same information, super in-depth. We're going to have multiple courses, movement, aiming. Um, we're partnering with another professional coach, the coach for Glitch Gaming. We're going to do lots of, um, you know, special guests and so on and so forth. We're going to have, like, professionals from, like, pro organizations. Come stop by. We're going to have professional coaches. We're going to have, like, Thornton Smash, the general manager for Glitch Gaming. We're going to have so much cool shit coming in 2023, and I'm super excited to just be providing nonstop value to the Apex community. Where is everybody? Bro, I swear that, like, a whole team landed over here. Oh my god, my aim is so bad. Oh, it's because my aim assist is off. I was like, hmm. I'm hitting shots, but not the way I used to. Jesus. Jesus, Murphy. Open the door! Oh! Oh! Alright, we're gonna turn this on really quick. Oh! Aim assist actually do be, um... Needed today. CO Swiftly with the super sticker. Let me eat some cake, baby.
Pishy, homie. How are you doing today, Swiftly? Alright. Um, Jonathan Johnson Jr., what is your aim and look sensitivity? Exclamation mark settings, my dude. Um, they're they're pretty mid. They're pretty average right now. Nothing crazy. Here I go. Half the squads remain. Let's keep winning. You have a session with me in three hours. Can we push it if you push it up if you want? I'm also willing to pay for a longer session if your first doesn't show. Yeah, for sure, my dude. We can definitely do that. Let's just give this dude to the end of his session and we will push your session up a bit. And if you want, you can message me on Discord, okay? Um, and also, bro, just depending on like whatever you want to do, like let's just say that you want to add an extra hour, just um, let me know what your email is or like I said like message me on discord or something dude and just tell me what your name is on the booking and then when we finish our session I'll just cancel like like just book a session for the far future and then I'll just cancel the session after we finish if that makes sense if it doesn't let me know and I'll try again optics here close range Happy New Year, Sloth. What's going on, Aiden? How you doing, homie? Exclamation mark, um, A-L-C, not sense. If you want to do exclamation mark sense, just put an E at the end of S-E-N-S. -E so it'd be S-N-E-S-E. S and... S-E-N-S-E. -E. My brain today, dude. You can use the reposition engagements a little more if you think engagements are full of portals. Use portals. Yeah, if if I think what I don't even know what you're talking about, reckless. Honestly, I'm I'm good not comment because I'm actually really, really stupid right now. I got some materials for us. Yay! Thank you. Wow, that's nice of you. Zip line there. That's very sweet of them to leave that for me. Best way to get 20 kill. Honestly, if you want to get 20 kills, you actually have to land hot. I usually tell people don't land hot if you're trying to go for 4Ks. It's because it's going to be too hard, especially if you're not mechanically skilled or just skilled in general. But if you're going for 20 bombs, you actually have to land hot. because Otherwise, people are going to land hot themselves and the whole lobby is going to die in the first two minutes of the game. Ready to fly on a zip line, making contact with the enemy. Where are you going, buddy? This guy's fast. Enemy there you go. <sighs> Dietrich, um, hope you've been having a good day. You're not doing trios coaching anymore. Yeah, so I'm still doing trios coaching gang. Um, I just I haven't been doing it for December because ALGS was taking place all of December and I was looking to compete and then that didn't come through. And then also EA doesn't like to give out codes during December or sorry, during um during ALGS. No audio.
this guy just shits on me with probable over. Oh, it's Begs. Let's go, Begs. No way he loses that. There's no way. There we go. Good stuff, gang. Um, but yeah, so EA doesn't like to give out um, custom lobby codes during December, so that's why that's why we're not hosting any customs or doing like trio sessions because trio kind of requires um, custom lobbies. But we can still do custom lobby. I mean, we can still do trio coaching. Um, just hit me up on Discord and I will kind of talk to you one on one about that. Jesus Murphy, I'm getting stuck on everything. Are you talking about fire? Because clearly I use controller for aim assist, yeah? I use controller because I grew up on the roller. District, do I play with custom controller? I do. Exclamation mark controller, my dudester. I feel like my teammates trolling me. There's nobody over here. Unless I'm just losing my mind. How do I put the controller on the screen for the stream? Um, I use this thing called, oops, I use this thing called controller gamepad. Oh. Jesus Murphy. He's knocked. Okay. Jesus Murphy, bro. controller switch on PS5? I honestly have no idea, dude. You mean like the switch controller for the PS5? I have, would, I, I honestly have no idea. Jesus, Murphy, I'm getting... Giving my shields a recharge. Rank split, I'm going to Bronze Masters. Do you have any advice? Um, literally, like if you're solo queuing Bronze Masters, again, right? Biggest tip is just make sure you're always playing for those end games because early game you're not really getting any points. Right? If you can get one or two kills, that's huge. Right? But it's it's just it's important that you make sure that you're you're playing for that end game scenario. Vantage pull out that little Why are you not pulling out your little Ultimate here, it just shooting me while I'm stuck in the open. Swiftly with the super stick, appreciate you, my dude. Giving my shield to recharge. Hit me here, hit me here. Am I playing claw? I'm not playing claw. I play with four paddles on my controller, homie. Exclamation mark controller. 
This guy's fast. Where you at? Four paddles, why not use why not two? Uh, because four paddles is more buttons. It's like it just it, it gives you more versatility, right? Like I can do a little bit more with four paddles than I can with two. So that team's landing right where I wanted to go, and they're gonna beat me there. So I'm just gonna play from a distance. Oh, there they are. Repeat him, don't let him just Need some advice? Um, you're a claw Nintendo Switch player. Yo, that's crazy, homie. You play claw on Switch? Bro, you're, you're actually dirty with it if you play claw on Switch. Even if you suck, that's still impressive. Um, need some advice, claw on Switch, Nintendo player. Aim is bad and I'm a wraith. Can you tell me what to do? Yeah, homie. The main thing is just, again, like, work on those... Work on those mechanics, you know, dude. Not so much the mechanics, my bad. Just, just, just work on it. Where's he going? Um, like, let's just say you're struggling with your aim on Switch. There's just, there's so many things that you can do um, to just help you with your recoil in general, right? Main thing, main thing is simply just the fact that, you know, there's aim smoothing. You can't jitter aim, but there's aim smoothing. You can learn the different patterns. Um, Switch naturally has just really bad analog sticks, so they're not, excuse me, they're not accurate to begin with. So aiming on Switch is just naturally really hard. I don't really know too many really insane Switch players. Um, the main thing, bro, is just practice. If you can buy, like, one of those pro controllers for Switch, that would definitely be, like, a really huge advantage for you. But then again, like, you're going to be spending money. It's kind of like a pay-to-win type thing, right? Or if you just, you know, buy an Xbox or a PlayStation... And then you'll have a naturally decent controller out of the box. But then, I mean, you're spending money on the console. Um, the main thing, bro, is like just exclamation mark recoil. Like, learn about different ways to control aiming. So recoil smoothing, jitter aiming, which is kind of like a mouse and keyboard type thing. Um, like different patterns, right? And then, obviously, you know, a better controller to begin with would be a huge start. Why don't I play mouse and keyboard? I kind of, I grew up on a controller, um, Patrick. I have basically, like, never played... Um, our macros banned and ranked they are not, but I basically, I grew up on a controller, so there's no reason for me to, like, really switch to mouse and keyboard at this point in time. I just love controller, like, I've always, I've always played on one, I've never played mouse and keyboard type games. I've, I've never owned a computer until, like, three years ago, two years ago, one year ago. However long, however long I've been on PC, I think it's like a year, maybe. A couple seasons, no, so maybe like three or four months. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Just are you on a Smurf account or do you just play on a This is my main account, dude. Oh, I'm Valk. What? Yes. Let's go over there. Check that out. Heads up. The body line is vital. Fox 3 dubbing the pods. Wings up. Attention. First blood. First blood and it's not us. Wonderful. Wings out. Round one. Sorry, dude, I didn't even realize that you're going for it. Great. Already inside the ring. Wings up. Wings out. Got ourselves a band. I saw there. someone. Wings up. As your next champion. Fox three, miss 
Cancel off the rails. Whoa! Need some help here. <sighs> Turn the corner, no audio. Lifeline pop-up scare. But no, it's definitely not an alt account. I'm level 15, bro. Definitely not an alt account. I'm only level 15. Um, as I said... Yeah, as I said, from Computer Boys, I came out of my mom with a controller. The main thing is just that I just... I don't want to relearn, like, four years of Apex on mouse and keyboard. You know? Like, it took me four years to get to the mechanical skill that I'm at today. I don't want to have to relearn the entire game on mouse and keyboard, because everything is different. Like, movement is just completely different. Ditra, can we maybe add up and I could show you how I am in-game, or would I have to pay for that? Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Exclamation mark coaching sub to Ducky TV. Um, the main thing, dude, is like, you know, if I kind of do that for you, I kind of have to do that for all 70,000 people on the channel. And that is a lot. It's just, it's just naturally a lot, you know? How much are my coaching sessions? My guy coaching starts at $15, Tony. And you can save up to 25% when you book with a bu with a duo. With a duo. So let's just say you have a friend. You both want to get coaching. You guys both book a session. At the same time, you guys learn together. Not only do you get to learn on your team chemistry and work together and have a fun time together, but you also get to save a little bit of money. So it's a win-win for everybody. I'm trying, Jitter. The main thing is warming up right now. Yeah, 71k, eh? I feel most alive when 71k. We hit 71k yesterday, I think. Last night, or maybe this morning. My goal around December 1st was like, oh, damn, we have like 60, we have like 60k subs. Like, Holy fudge, that's a lot of people. I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can get 70k in one month. the zip and the dude's got a devo yeah the people who keep changing their sense um like you gotta stop doing that that's one of the biggest things that you're doing that's like messing you up right now changing your sense all the time means that you have to constantly relearn and get used to these new settings these these new feelings so if you get semi comfortable one day on a new sense and then the next day you change it Right, you're gonna just completely remove all of that um, experience that you just got, right? Manic, do I stay um, busy coaching? Yeah, dude. Com well, like December first, I was booked from December first all the way into January. You couldn't get a you couldn't get a single session. All I had like a whole month booked in advance, which is like three to four sessions a day, and then I had people booking me into January too. So it was it was pretty busy actually. Last month here, 
Let's just see. How many sessions did we do last month? Or how many got booked last month? So a quick little check on our account here. Last month we did 51 sessions. 51 sessions in one month. Here we go. Ready up. Should I buy more sticks for my cinch as I want to raise concave and dome? So if you buy the extended stick, like... Stop touching the fucking door, you Oompa Loompa. Jesus. So if you buy it with the custom sticks, like let's say you're getting it built and you get the custom sticks to start, it comes with one concaved, um, one tall, one medium domed, and yeah. So it comes with everything, but if you want to buy extra, um, it would be for like your left stick. Which in reality, you don't really need to put anything on your left stick. Your left stick should be like as short as possible for movement. And then your right stick, if you like to have it taller, then you know, that's an option. Um, I like to have a tall stick on my right side just for like better aiming, but Gang, yo, by the way gang, just a little disclaimer. We're really burnt out. Like we've been feeling sick for like the last month Last three or four months actually so our gameplay today is not gonna be the best, but we'll do our best today What the, how is somebody rezzing back here what? The ring's closing in one. We're not very close. They're shooting at me! Taking fire! Oh, uh, damn it, that hurt! Broken enemy shield. Only 45 rings far. Charge my shields. An enemy shield. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Enemy shield broken. Arc star out. Throwing arc stop. Going to phase. Need to recharge my teammate shields. is so far away. Like, what's up with the other random dude that was here? Phasing. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> There's no way! Uh... Can you explain the light weapon recoil and heavy weapon recoil pattern? Yeah, so... For the most part, I'll kind of actually here. I'll show you. That's a kind of as an it's an interesting thing, and this is something that a lot of people in chat probably have never noticed. Um, and keep in mind, this isn't. It's not like a. It's not like a rule of thumb. It's not like this is the same thing with every heavy weapon or every light weapon, but heavy weapons. Or the car and the flatline have basically polar opposite recoil patterns of the actually here, let me let me pick up the R3 one here. Alright, so so check this out, right? Look look at look at the gun here. 
when you shoot the first couple shots of the R301, it goes up right, up right, and then it will cut to the left. So it's basically right, left, right, right? So it goes right, left, right, left. The flat line is the opposite. It goes right, oh, hold on. My brain is melting. Flat line is opposite. It goes left, right, left, right. So when you're pulling down on the flat line, what you're basically doing is you're pulling right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. R31 is slightly different. It's kind of hard to show here. It's kind of hard to show here, but basically R301, you're pulling down, left, right, left. Flat line, you're pulling down, right, left, right. So it's, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. If you, if you go into our Discord, exclamation mark Discord, we have a whole channel that you can do like exclamation mark R99, exclamation mark, flatline, and the recoil pattern will show up. And the the thing with, quote unquote, the thing with like the heavy weapons, oh shit. Like if you're looking at like a, if you're looking at a flatline and a car, they both pull down, right, left, right. The car is just a little bit more jiggly left and right. And then a flat line, sorry, and then all the light guns for the most part are down, left, right, left. So the R9 for the most part is down, left, right, left. And then the R301 is the same thing, down, left. Bro, I just put it on trios. What? Trios. Where's the member link? Um, exclamation mark discord. I mean, it's right there. If you're talking about member for the channel, Carmel, you can just go to our YouTube channel and it will pop up right there. It'll say join. Do I also do... Yeah, I do coaching sessions for every platform. I actually just did a coaching session last night with a Switch player. So I do coaching for Switch, console, and PC. I just don't do mobile. Mobile is the only thing I literally can't coach because a mobile player can't queue up with a... With a anyone else, right? They can only play with mobile people. Why do your why does your gun shoot all over? Because you just probably don't control the recoil. Right? So your gun will naturally go left, right, it'll just spray all over the place. You need to make sure that you're pulling it and countering whatever it does. So certain guns pull certain ways. The flat line likes to pull a little bit more to the left which means that you need to pull a little bit more to the right side whenever you're shooting. My name is Wraith, and we have a job to do. We'll win this thing together. Semper Fi or die. <coughs> Science done asleep, and neither do we. Right, Newt? <laughs> Mobile gamers are not real gamers? Yeah, they are, bro. Come on. They'll be seeing stuff like that. They ha they literally have, like, mobile Apex and mobile, like, Call of Duty tournaments. Like, Call of Duty has their own mobile league. There's tons of mobile gamers, homie. All the subway surfers? Come on, bro. The temple runners? You tell me they're not gamers? Switch it up. Let's just, let's just chill, bro. I'm, I, I can't play it's fucking hot today. I'm literally having such a hard time just like looking at my screen. Near me. Wrong choice. Land on me. Er Thank you, teammates, for all landing on me. I don't know what I would do without you taking all the same loot. Let's all share one building. Let's all get nothing. And then we'll go fight a team with nothing. Let's see how that works out for us. Fire. Oh my god, I missed all my shots. Love jet sliding. Attention. Enemy shield broken. Archstar out. Enemy down. One 
enemy taken out. Nice work. Reloading. Taking damage. Not gonna lie, I actually thought that was a decoy for a second. Ring's not too far. 45 left. Second enemy shield. Reloading. Less than 30 seconds. What the heck? Shots. Off the mic. I'm spotted. Whole squad's down. We made the right choices. Good job. Need to recharge my shields. You need to be fast enough not to dead slide. The dead slide thing, bro, is it's kind of weird. So like, if you do a slide, you can slide, you can slide again after four steps, or one, two, three, four. It's kind of like the timing for it. All right. So if I slide, one, two, three, four, maybe, maybe a little bit longer. My bad. Hold on. There's ba there's basically a timing to everything, no matter what legend you're playing. So you can like think of it as like four right steps or like a one. So hold on. Slide. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's basically the timing right there. Hedging myself up. So if you do a slide and then you slide again too soon, you'll just you'll just get a dead slide. Even if your gun's down. Your first slide with your gun down is always free though. Gear package being delivered. Gear package dropping from the orbit. Got an evil shield here. Level two. There is a new kill leader. New kill leader. So would a rule of thumb be to counter the left and right recoil pattern? Uh, so would a rule of thumb be to counter the left and right pattern of the recoil? I trust pull down at times. I have no idea what you're saying, dude. Half the squad's alive. Maybe that made sense to other people, to, but to me that made zero sense. The rule of thumb, if you're controlling recoil, pull down. And then whenever you see it pull to the left, pull to the right. Whenever you see it pull up to the right, you pull down to the left. That's the rule of thumb. Damn, bro. There it is. Champion made a poor choice. I'm switching to PC from years of console Apex. Any major changes I should be aware of? So excited to try mouse and keyboard movement out. Yeah, so right away, mouse and keyboard movement, bro, for you is going to be so fucking hard. Unless you're already used to it, I promise you, bro, figuring out how to slide will be weird. It took, it li dude, I kid you not, when I switched to mouse and keyboard, I was like, bro, I cannot slide. It, it literally is like, I don't, it's so hard. And it's just like learning to use your, your, all of your fingers other than your thumb to do everything, right? Like we're used to moving, not with three fingers, but with one thumb. We're used to aiming, not with our whole hand, but with one thumb. Is there any ammo in here? Broken enemy shield. Shields recharging. Throwing thermite. Grenade! Recharging my shields. Yo, Horizon, can you throw a lift for me? I'm in a portal. Can you throw it kind of close to the door? I'm going to put a portal to the roof. Chat, just pay attention to how this guy literally... Oh, shit. I forgot that that doesn't work. Whoopsie daisy. You see how he jumped out the window to throw up to throw the lift? Like he could have done that literally.
He could have done that from where he was. Jesus Murphy, dude. Need to recharge my shields. Don't need to be full health to shoot my gun. Smith. Endo with the ten dollar super chat. I appreciate my dude. No ammo, bro. Like, what am I supposed to fucking do here? I need these guys to stop playing like fucking pussies and just step outside and let me shoot you. Is that turbo? Ooh, if that was a turbo, maybe it'd be a different story. When up, homie, let me read that in a minute, okay? Do they have a horizon? I don't remember. You're being aimed at. Give me a sec. Recharging shields. Enemy spotted near me. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Recharging There's like someone inside here, right? I thought somebody like ran underneath us. An enemy Maybe I'm tripping. Haha! <laughs> there he is! Just just leave, bro. Just I've been down. The the amount of dedication it takes to sit underneath the fucking building. And just 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 sit there and just just sit in camp is astounding. That's dedication. Went up close and someone is in your face. How would you dodge their hip fire? I try, I find I try an air strafe on controller with Horizon and I still get destroyed. Air strafing and jumping when you're in somebody's face is not what you want to do, right? Because as soon as you jump off the ground, you're locked into a certain tra trajectory. So let's just say you jump, right? As you jump up, it's very predictable that you're going to go up and you're going to come back down. If you jump to the side, right, and you're going back and forth, it's very predictable that once you get here, you're going to land here. So somebody literally just follows you as you do that. It's not hard to track that. Instead, what you want to do is you want to stay on the ground because you have more control over your body. Once you leave the ground, you're stuck in a very predictable pattern. But if you're on the ground, you can control how far you want to go to the left, how far you want to go to the right. How far you want to go forwards, backwards. So you can strafe very unpredictable patterns, right? So go in exclamation mark strafe in the chat. Back. That should bring up my strafing guide or go. just head on over to my YouTube channel where my strafing guide is one of the most popular videos on my channel, right? And we kind of talk about how you dodge bullets and how to essentially fight up close with your strafe and how to break ankles. We go really in depth with how to strafe. Oh my god, bro. Reloading. I missed all of those crucial shots. But it's okay, because I got the wingman. Evo shield here. Level two. Oh, spotted me. I'm taking shots. Also Mike. I'm spotted. Let's do the grapple. Round one. Round one. We're inside the room. Incoming fire. I'm getting hit over here. Hostile. Danger close. Okay. The enemies are shooting at me. Recharging my shields. 
Richard, you be looking hella submissive. Chill, bro. My girlfriend's gonna see that, man. My mom watches the stream, homie. Chill. Why are you saying I look breedable right now? What? Trying to get them that, them finisher stats up, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be number one wraith in the world for finishers. I am taking fire, friends. Wow, looks like that was the last one in the squad. Giving my shields a recharge. R301 here. I don't need shotgun ammo. Why am I picking that up? You think console aim assist would be broken if they upped it um, to the if they upped the frame rate to 120? Yeah. So I'm I'm fairly confident if they ever up console aim assist, sorry, if they ever up the frame rate, they're gonna lower the console aim assist to 2.4. The thing is, is I think they just don't know how to balance what aim assist to give people, right? Like let's say you 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 raise the maximum to to 120. How are you going to ensure that people have solid solid frames? Right? It's 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 really hard to exp it's hard to explain. Like let's say you have like a PS4 player versus a PS5 player. The PS5 player has, you know, high FPS and a low aim assist. And like how are you going to ensure that the PS4 player it has like a fair FPS versus aim assist balance, you know? That's the main issue. Is how do you balance that in particular? But if they let's just say you can like get everybody on the same FPS all across, they would definitely nerf it. Um, there's no way in hell that 120 FPS is going to be allowed to play with 0.6 because 0.6 is broken as fuck. It is super strong. The main reason why I hated playing on console... Yo, by the way, Quinton, thank you so much for the $1 super chat, homie, for the super sticker. Appreciate you, my man. The main reason why I hated playing on console was because even the bad players could one-mag you, right? But if you move over to the PC, it's like... There's there's such a bigger skill gap. Not to say that, like... I Okay, well, obviously, I like the skill gap because it's nice, right? But um, the main thing is, like... Even really bad players play really good just because of the aim assist. So you could practice a recoil all day, run face to face. Like I could just run up on Lone Wolf right here with my point six as a bot and just bubble 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 and it locks on. And then all bad players play with like super slow, steady like settings. It's 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 it's, it's just broken. Like point six is just broken. Not saying that it's not required, because I definitely think that console deserves point six. Because one, it has extremely bad input delay, really bad input delay. The FPS is terrible. Like you can't even get solid 60 FPS on a Series S on a next gen console that's capable of like 4K video, 120 FPS on Call of Duty. For whatever reason, you can't even get 720p 60 FPS steady. You know, so it's it's definitely needed, but I, I don't think I don't think they'll they'll keep the strong aim assist if they ever choose to up the, the FPS. My little rant right there about that. I'm just very passionate about the aim assist. Being an aim assist Andy myself. How do you lose people tailing you from behind, like, 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 juking? Kind of just making, like, unpredictable patterns. Hold on. Totally stole the shit out of that. My bad, homie. Looks like you've been hitting the range. Climb the wall, homie. Reloading. Double time in it. We took out the kill leader. Good choice.
Oh my god, that's actually disgustingly strong. Recharging my shields. I am taking fire, friends. Rope that in. Taking damage. Give me a second. Recharging shields. Firing. Full squad's down. Fire! Smoke out. Reloading. Punching a tunnel. Portal place. Two other squads left. Good work, kill leader. Hell yeah. Got our squad mates banner. Need to recharge my shields. Any tips on getting 4Ks? Yeah, we're gonna be making a whole 4Ks video um during the throughout the duration of this week. So it's I think it's gonna be a project. As you know, my videos are pretty in-depth. I like to go over a lot of very important things that a lot of people just don't really think about. So I think I'm planning on having it done by the end of the week, but honestly, who knows? Reloading. Healing up. Eyes are open though. Recharging. Look out, grenade. Smoke out. Off the mic. Spotted. Rings closing in one. Yeah, just throw your little globby globs at me. That will do a lot. Good job, buddy. Your globby globs did so much for you right there. Your knuckles just got busted. I need light ammo. Catching myself up. Yo, see reckless. Have a good one, homie. Appreciate you stopping by today, bro. And thank you so much for that membership, homie. Fucking shredded there, buddy. Fucking go back to where you fucking came from there, buddy. Oh, can't super jump. So fun fact, I super jump on zip lines by sliding my thumb over X onto A. So I actually don't lift my thumb at all. It's just one continuous motion. It's just one big slide. But if my thumbs aren't greasy, well, not greasy, but if they're not like, if they're not slightly oily from, you know, your natural hand oils, it doesn't work. So if I eat like an orange or something and my, my fingers get sticky, um, I, I just like, I can't do like movement like that. How to super glide on controller? <clears throat> Excuse me, that's disgusting, my bad. That's actually super inappropriate of a very polite Canadian like me. You're basically climbing, crouching, and jumping at the same time, but it's very hard, in my opinion. I've, I'm have i I'm very inconsistent with it. I know some people are like gods at it, like Misery. Misery's really good. Shout out, Miz. Um, but I just, I cannot do that to save my life. Can you tap strafe? Can you controller tap strafe? I sure can. I sure do. I mean, I sure do use it. I sure do be using the controller tap strafe configs on Steam. Portal placed. Boom, tap strafe, tap strafe, tap strafe, tap strafe. Watch my back. Your old elite controller's like a slip and slide, I bet, bro. It's probably covered up in all them Dorito dusts. Any tips for MOBO? For mobile? Switch to console, my dude. They're dropping a replicator. Happy New Year's. Yeah, by the way, gang, happy New Year's. Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic start to their 2023. Frick yeah, daddy. This is 
This is our year as Apex gamers to hit Apex Predator. You can now go to school and be like, guess what? I'm a predator and not the kind you're thinking of. And they'll be like, what the fuck? And you'll be like, I'm an Apex Predator. <laughs> kind of want to see me play Mirage, bro. I'm, I'm just, I'm not a good Mirage main. I've been thinking of doing a 1,000 kills on every legend um, stream. And we just take days. Like, every day, like, we just play a new legend for, like, the whole day. And we just focus on getting as many kills as we can. And we just try and get 1,000 kills on everyone. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The district, you make it look so easy. That's gonna be our new like sub sound. How long would your VOD review coaching be? I didn't see a time when I looked at it yesterday. Yo, my bad, bro. Yeah, that was supposed to be up. So VOD reviews are 30 minutes um, and they're $15. So that's kind of like the entry level coaching. Um where we, we basically, like, we just go over your VOD, um, either, like, one-on-one -on -one together, or I would just, like, record it to, like, a, a private live stream, and I would send you the link, and only you can watch it. I probably would never um, do it, like, publicly, just because sometimes I can say some... Not not rude. I'm not, I'm not a rude dude, right? But sometimes I'll be like, this is, like, a really stupid play that you just did, and I would never want to say that publicly. Right, but sometimes I will 100% call you out. I'll be like, you see how you just like stepped into the open and you're standing there You got put to one shot and you're still standing there in the open You didn't take any time to like go back into cover That's something that's really stupid and we see this all the time and blah 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 blah, right? So I would call you out on it But obviously I just I just don't want to call people out in public all the time So we, we do that as a private link or together Get a thousand revives with Newcastle. That would be a pretty dope video, bro Just we just do a montage of just me just Pulling people up off the ground. And we, we put some inspiring music in the background. That would be a really good video. We should definitely do that one. But yeah, my bad dude. So coaching, um, the VOD review starts at $15 and it's 30 minutes long. You'll be able to go back and rewatch that whenever you want. By the way, guys, what do you guys think about doing like a, um, like a public VOD review? So everybody sends in like a couple of their clips. Like we'll set up a Discord channel or you will just have everybody post it in like the, the clips channel. We'll have everybody post their best or worst clips. And then I'll take a day. It will do like a live stream. Or maybe we'll even just like, just make it as a YouTube video. And we'll just literally go over people's clips and like break them down as like what they did good, what they did bad. And we'll kind of like help people. We'll just do like one super free, semi long video. What do we think about that? Yes? No? Dope? Pog? Sage? All right, so I have guns. My teammates definitely are on top of somebody, so. I'm actually going to go take this 1v1 with this guy because he probably has no idea that I'm on the way. He doesn't know that I know that he's there. Enemy shield. Reloading. Bullets head in that direction, darling. Attention. Force oh, blood. Give me sight. First blood. Round one. Should have seen that coming. Beginning ring countdown. So super basic thing, right? But you see how I'm just, I'm not winning that one. I'm not clearly not going to win that fight right there. So I just take a quick second to back up and reset. And now with the health that we still have, now we can take that to start moving up. Oh, oh shit. I'm stuck on a fucking rock. Got the tray, that's pretty much all that matters. 
That guy's gonna back up because he's shit on. My teammates are gonna scan, push the guy away, basically scare him. My teammates should come and res me. I'll pop a battery, reload my guns, and then we'll all push as a team. Horizon has the most health, has the most health, so she should be hard focusing on pushing up right now, making sure this guy can't heal, can't reset. Now us as a team, we'll all start pulling up together, making sure that we secure this. Now, unless that guy's teammates quit, he's probably well, running. Good, we're inside. Sorry, what was that? I said, Blackon, can you see if you've got footsteps on her? Girl, 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 Got another team behind me. Got another team behind me. Pulling up. up. Pulling up cupcake. Oh, there she. There she got depart. Where she at? Where she at? Oh! Give me that shit, baby. Where's your team at? Here. We go there. What settings would you recommend to maximize take advantage of console aim assist linear? Dude, whatever floats your boat. Whatever floats your boat. Low sense linear feels really smooth and comfortable. I just, I like the feeling of, of high sense linear. Like it feels nice to me personally. And it also looks really good on stream. Like it just, it's more enjoyable to watch, right? Like, you don't want to watch somebody who plays a super low sense, because that's boring. People watch Deltouche because of his, you know. Oh my god. Oh my god, my aim is so... Oh man, did you see me hit all those shots right there? Someone signed me to fucking TSM. Mm. Call me NRG... How? Wait. Yes. Never mind. I have a feeling we're open targets. Never mind. Ignore that. My brain is no worky today. Light ammo, please. Light ammo here. Get it while it's hot. Fresh out of my box. Oh. But yeah, bro. Whatever, whatever floods your boat when it comes to settings, like. The only thing that I suggest people do is play low dead zone and play between 0 and 10% um, response curve. Everything else is just, it's it's pure preference, my dude. Pure preference. Somebody said above, let's do a coaching sesh right now, lol. For sure, homie. Yo, by the way, somebody messaged me earlier, right? They were trying to do a coaching session, if I'm not mistaken. But did they message me on Discord? They. Let's see, we have so many messages. Shit. Hey, Dietrich, I was wanting to talk about possible coaching session either duo trios. If you can call me, talk about that, that'd be great whenever you... Um... Um, reckless, computer boys... It wasn't reckless. Computer boys... Okay, I'll read all these later. Where am I? Yeah. yeah, call me TSM Sweet. Thank you, dude. Bro, Sweet's my favorite. I love Sweet. He's my favorite. He's my favorite 100 Thieves player. I love Sweet's, like, super monotone, chill voice because whenever he gets a kill, he just seems so relaxed about it. Like, it just doesn't even phase him that he 360 no-scoped, double YY, reload cancel. 
no scope headshot somebody across the map with a Kraber on 900 HP. It just, mm, it just makes me so horny for him. Let me pour a little ketchup. Follow the tunnel. Oh, they're padding away. Eh? One, two, three, full team padding away. I set the portal. Oh boy. What the? Good try. Simple. That was the last one. Nice work. Replicator incoming. Need to recharge my shields. And in a situation like that, like let's say you were that team right there, and you get a coaching session, like we would come, we would go over, like a million times how to win that fight if you were that team, because they they could have easily won that one. That was a free fight for them, and they just totally threw it. I'm using a Phoenix kit. What's going on, Sir Man? How you doing, homie? Yeah, so, um, jitter, bro. Like, the way that I got used to playing, like, a faster sense was I slowly increased my sensitivity. Like, when I was when I was starting to get good at Apex, I was like, okay, I want to be a streamer one day. And, obviously, low sense controller is boring as shit to watch. So, I'm going to make the change to playing on linear, because, one, it looks more flashy. And I'm going to learn to play high sense, because, two, it makes it look fun and more flashy. And I literally just every, not every day, but like maybe every week or so, I would slowly increase my sensitivity. And I eventually got to the point where I'm at today, where I can just play semi-fast sense, or if not maxed out sense, and be totally fine. Dude. Recharging my shields. The next ring's quite a trek, and we're down to 45 seconds. I'm taking fire. Getting shot. At. Dude, stop. Taking a moment to recharge. Catching myself up. Grenade deployed. Best bones are bombs. Cost a trap in there. <laughs> Come. I got some. Recharging my shields. Oh, enemy here. Healing up. Reloading. Nothing right here. Pulling it on top of us. We're shooting at him. Firing. Let's go over there. So right, we're kind of between two teams right now. We definitely don't want to be, so we're just going to make sure that we're Should focusing. This fight. Heads up. We're just Heads going to make sure that we focus on rotating all the way around right here. Way. Right, we don't. We definitely just don't want to be between two teams. One in our back, one in front of us. You see, gang, you see how I, like, when I'm in a bad spot, I just hard focus on backing up out of that spot. I'm not going to stay in a situation that I'm clearly not going to win. Like, that fight is literally impossible to win. So I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to stay there like an idiot and die. I'm going to make sure I get out of that and I stay alive. Because if I can stay alive, then I can help out my team in the future. But if I die, then my team will probably commit. And they'll probably get all aggressive for no reason. I remember we had a team over here. So we want to see what they're doing, if they are doing anything. Yep, here they are. Let's see if I can catch them right here. Just going to get in front of them right here. See if I can get some cover. Just using a Phoenix kit. I'm gonna play slow, come around the back here. It's only round two, so I don't really need to worry about zone all that much. Now there should be another player. 
See, this guy has anything I need. That's cool. Grab all that. Sweet. Yo, my first sight of the game. Let's go. Any tips on switching weapons on mouse and keyboard? I've mastered holster sliding mouse and keyboard, but MK is difficult as fuck. Yeah, dude. I mean, just like find a button layout that like fits your vibe, you know? It's, um, you know, like the, the, it's, it's really just like whatever, whatever, you know, key binds fit your vibe. I don't play mouse and keyboard, so personally, I can't tell you what's a good bind, right? But I know a lot of people have, like, their mouse wheel click for holster, or, like, swap or something like that. So I'm going to rotate right now to get around this box. I'm not going to go straight forward. And then off my damage at a distance, I can look to move up a little bit, right? So you see how he, like, kind of backed up and gave me space to move? Now I can come around here. Hopefully my bloodhound scans. That is so fucking cringe, dude. Just us now. That's fucking ball is so cringe, man. The fact that you can just nut on someone through a fucking door, throw them backwards, stun them like it's a fucking tactical nuke is insane. Completely beyond me that they make these legends who just have the, just the utmost, most OP ultimates. Fuck, bro. This shit stuns you for so long, too. Like, like, bro, like a like 10 second stun is fucking game breaking. Like, if you nut on somebody, like, that's it. They're dead. It's an, it's an insta kill. You might as well just kill them right then and there. Because you can't move. You can't see. You can't turn at full speed. Right? Like, it's, it's literally impossible. It's impossible to counter that. I'm cool with it like launching you and maybe giving you like a two two second th three second stun at max, but that shit's broken, bro. That shit's so broken. You think the Watson door a trick though? I mean that's that's fine. Like that's that's cool because you can counter it. You can break you can break the node. You can see it, right? Introducing your champion. The Watson stun though is super strong, but there's ways that you can counter it. Right? But you can't counter a Maggie ult. Especially if you're, like, on the door. Like, bro, like, she could literally throw an ult on you through a door. And just completely win that fight. And it has no effect on her either. Right? Like, she was on... She was literally on top of me when it exploded. And it did not stun her at all. Oh, shit. Yo, no way, a purple bag? Yo, I'm set, gang. Yo, let me pick up that six times for my Mozambique really quick. Actually, I'm gonna throw it on the, the L-Star instead. Six times L-Star is actually the wave. Oh, I'm dead. Why is my teammate running away from me? Come ahead, up, teammates. I want to see who this is. This guy's name is Headshot, and this dude literally killed me on full white with a P20, like four bullets. I wish I died right there, oh, okay. Who's this dude? Healing up. Eyes are open though. It's just headshot. 
Nothing crazy about him. It's not like a master or anything. He's just an insane P20 headshot player. Dope. Heavy ammo here. Heavy ammo here. Charging on my shields. Bomb boss, I'm sitting up. Need to recharge my shields. I cracked that in the shield. Pulling the trigger. <clears throat> One sec. Healing up. Shields recharging. Ah, uh, half the squads are gone already. They spotted me. I'm taking Oh, that's sliding. That's Recharging my shields. Just a sec. Heal. Making contact with enemy. I broke it. Double deep fortress. Reloading. There he is. That's a real one. Throw my grenade out. Recharging shields. Got a visual on a bogey right here. I cracked that and looking shield. Fox 3, jumping the pods. Incoming <laughs> Getting shot at. <laughs> Reloading. Their boxes at like what? Am I hallucinating? Like, like those are the original two boxes. Where are all the other boxes? Yeah, here it is. Got an Evo oh, got that here. one. Level two. Got an Evo shield here. Level two. Healing up. Hey man, I have a session tonight. Is there anything I need you to do to get ready? Yeah, man, just be a little warmed up and you're chilling. Just be a little warmed up and you're all chilling, homie. Oh shit, we have a session soon, do we not? Oh my, an enemy. Hold up, healing. Um, 4.30, we have a session. Punching a tunnel. Portal's ready. One second. We got this. Charging on my shield. No way, he doesn't see that. Like... Shields right here. Shield. I'm taking shots. He's one shot. Oh my god, please just shoot them. Cool bean bobs. Need a wee rejuvenation. Hold up. <sighs> Healing. Need to recharge my shields. What's up with Lady District? Hey, what's up, baby? Just a tick. Heal it up. We'll be streaming um, the session. That'd be cool. Yeah, man. We we'll, we usually stream our sessions here. We were supposed to have a coaching session today, or like right now, or maybe like an hour ago or so. But homie just never showed up. Didn't didn't text me back. Didn't include his Discord or anything. Oh no, a diamond team. What am I gonna do? Please don't land on me. Come back. Look at look at this team. Look at this team, they shot at me, and then last second they're like, nah, we're gonna start looking instead at this other team. Let's actually look at the other team. Bandit. 
That's just yeah, we just we just miss all of our shots here. It's all good. Enemy taken out. Charging my shield. Round two. Beginning ring countdown. We're already inside. Dead slide? Replicator being delivered. Got a replicator coming in. This won't hurt. Hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Right here. Recharging my shields. Teammate quit. Other teammate quit. Nice. Shield. Need to recharge my shields. So I'm gonna swing to this back side here. So I can be a third party. Back up right there. I have three people in front of me and I have no cover. Swing to the cover. Hold this cover, peek. No info, so I'm just gonna heal. I can hear people in front of me, so I'm gonna keep swinging for an angle here. Always putting on pressure, always shooting, always shooting. Just play slow, maybe somebody will just pull up in front of me. Get a little bit closer, looking for some lighter heavy. Milky with a two dollar super chat. G dollar sign money bag monster. Enemy taken out. Squad. Two enemy squads left. Easy. 
Patching myself up. Kind of messed up my strafe right there. And that lifeline kind of low-key gave it to me, but... We aren't going to talk about dirt. We aren't going to talk about her. So gang, I just want to point out, right? Like I'm I'm close to a 3k. If we were playing like an R301 right now or like a like a flat line or something, then we could be just shooting, you know, a little bit more from a distance and just continuously be putting in damage. But you notice how I always pay attention to just staying alive. I'm never going to put myself in a situation that is too hot, right? I put I if I see that there's three people in front of me, right? I don't just stand in the open and start shooting them. I hard focus on backing up and making sure that I stay alive. Right? I make sure that I can continue playing. I'm not going to put myself in a situation where I won't be able to play. right? Because then the game's going to end. I won't be getting any more kills if I'm dead. right? My teammates, if I have any, now they won't have their third. Just a minute until the ring now the team's going to push them because Good. it's a 3v2. It's or whatever the situation might be. right? So I'm being as active as I can as often as I can. I'm never going to not look at what's happening. Oh, shh. Not that far. Yeah, we we gonna do that. There we go. That, that's fine. All right. I'm always looking at what's happening. I'm always trying to shoot my gun, even if I'm missing shots. Right. I reload. I get right back into that shit. I'm not gonna not do nothing. I always have to be doing something. It's the name of the game. If you're doing nothing, then you're not getting damage. You're not getting kills. You're not holding people back. They're pushing you. You're dying. All right. And if you're dying. Right, then you're not staying alive. You got to make sure that you're also prioritizing staying alive. So you're shooting as often as you can, but staying alive is the most important thing. And that's the number one thing that you'll notice is that we always try and stay alive. In progress. Good. I'm inside the next ring. Delivering care package. I got a solo over here. And then one dude right here. Looks like two solos. Do you see me? Or are you just like... You have no idea what's going on. He has no idea what's going on. So it's like it's like a 1v1 basic. It's a 1v1v1 it looks like. Bro, oh my god. Deploying I'm gonna drop you a respawn because I'm, I'm about to fuck you and your teammate. I'm gonna let you re res and try again because I know it's gonna be a hard one for you guys to live through this one. I got the double re! Maybe it's not a 1v1v1. Definitely not a 1v1v1. Placing a portal. Portal's ready. Need to recharge my shields. I was so horny for it, bro. I was uh, this whole time. I'm like, you see how I'm staying alive? <laughs> I always stay alive, and then I just fucking throw. Oh my god, bro. I'm so, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm so dumb. All right, gang. Um, uh, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if my girlfriend sent me a Snapchat. This girl's so beautiful.
Lando games. Of course, I remember you, homie. Bro, I don't remember. I, d I don't remember. I don't forget anybody. I remember everybody. Ecstasy? The real ecstasy? <gasps> What's going on, bro? Lando, I remember. Bro, you're in all the streams. I see you in the stream all the time, dude. Yo, TJP. I love you, homie. Love from Brazil, love from Canada, dude. Thank you so much for stopping by today, homie. Sloth gamer. I'm the jump master. Add enjoy looting kid if you want to get annihilated in Apex. Bet. Reckon we ought to land over there, darling. Yo, appreciate TJP. You keep on getting member when you don't even buy it. I know, right? We have we have so many absolute fucking goats who just be who just be donating crazy gifts yo awake not woke with the ten dollar super chat happy new year big d yo awake bro happy new year homie hopefully you're having a great start to 2023 my Here dude we go. Ready up. big start to 2023 with that ten dollar super chat appreciate you homie dude our our elgato stream deck has been stuck in buffalo for four days we ordered it we ordered it just before that massive storm Dude, nobody came here. We ordered it just before the massive storm. They shipped it when the storm started. And it got the, I guess the UPS truck got stuck in a snowstorm. Like, like the truck got stranded. Is what I'm understanding from UPS. Classic senpai who drops solo while in fucking trios. There we go. Let's go. Absolute goat plays trios, but decides to go solo. Could have just no filled, and then I would have had a wonderful teammate, like Mr. Pyro over here, who's just looting by me, hanging out with his boy. We're vibing. We're chilling, drinking hot cocoa on this nice winter day. I'm with it, bro. Let's do it. Actually, I don't want to go that way because there's nobody over there. But let's go over here, dude. Maybe there's a lot of people over this way. Let's go check it out. Let me know if you're with it. Let's put that light mag on the car because nobody be rocking P2020. Uh, it's a long choner. Yo, chat, you wanna know something fucking disgusting about today? Literally so nasty. So you know how you know how coffee is like it's almost like a laxative, like it makes you need to go poo? Bro, I had a cup of coffee. I went on a walk. You know how, like, working out and, like, moving around makes you need to go poo, too? It, like, loosens everything up in your stomach? Bro. Bro. Went on a walk. Came back home. I kid you not, it felt it felt like my butthole was leaking. My butt felt like it was leaking, my dude. I ran upstairs and <laughs> exploded. It was like a devotion went off in the toilet, you know? It just... <laughs> non-stop devo shits put the turbocharger on my booty hole my man I like that's that's what it was like it was like when lexi eats cheese it was that kind of bad you know Need to recharge my shields. Why is he just... Care package coming in. I like headshot me. He just kept standing there. Oh my... Dude, the fucking rats today! We had that game earlier where the dude like sat under our building for like literally three minutes straight. Didn't make a sound, didn't reload his gun, didn't heal or anything. He just sat there and he camped and waited for us to drop down and then he started shooting us in the back. The same shit here. This guy is just sitting in the corner just waiting for somebody to come by. It works. Like, like the strat works, but it is so annoying. So annoying. Stop that. Have some dignity, you know? Play like a fucking boss and show your face to people and just fucking get up in there, you know? God. People make me want to, like, commit, like, side to sue. You know what I'm saying? Like, they literally make me want to side to sue myself. Yo, Justin, what's going on, Justin? 
I haven't answered your message for coaching. What's up? I remember somebody earlier today was asking about coaching. Maybe that was you, and maybe I... You're so pretty, Lexi. Oh my god, you're so pretty. I love you. You're so beautiful. Excuse me. Sounds like Nick Merck's playing in there. All the writing. Bro, that was probably Nick on an alt account smurfing. Sewer slide? Yo, that is the new movement tech right there. Sewer sliding. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to sewer slide all over this lobby real quick. Right for you, Lonnie. Lonnie Lon. They make me want to commit slip a slide. <laughs> Bro, we're, we're about to sewer slide up in there and we're going to tap strafe side slew. And then Lando's going to pull up with the slip and slide and just come diving in there. Can you mantle jump? Yo, that's actually one thing that I have no idea about. I know that mantle jumping is a thing, but I've I've never I've never seen a video like I haven't taken the time to watch a video yet on what it is and how to do it. Dropping in. And then there's Hang also on. like elite jumping, but I haven't I haven't taken the time to look into that either. So that's going to be something maybe I do this week. District, what's the difference between camping and positioning? It might sound stupid. No, no, definitely not a stupid question. Like positioning, you put yourself into a good spot. Camping, you sit in one spot, you don't move, and you wait for somebody to come by so that you can shoot them for free because they're not paying because they they just don't know that you're there. Right? Like camping would be Camping would be this. I'm gonna wait for somebody to come here. And I'm just I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna wait for somebody to come and just come loot. Inside. That's camping. That's that's literally what the other guy was doing to me. I should have kept camping, bro. I should have just kept camping. Okay, gang, I'm gonna do one more game. I'm gonna hop off. I got a coaching session in about an hour. I want to take some time to relax, FaceTime my girlfriend. Um, and gang, by the way, exclamation mark coaching if you're ever interested in getting coaching. And definitely make sure to hop on into our Discord server because we are going to be doing a free course on how to start going pro if that is something that you're interested in. If you're interested in turning video games, whether it's Call of Duty, Apex, Minecraft into your job, right? If you're, you know, hoping to maybe make some extra side money or whatever the situation might be, we have a whole course that we're going to be doing for free inside of our Discord server. So come stop by me and my buddy. Yo, what's up, cutie pie? How you doing, homie? Me and my buddy, we're going to be doing a... Um, <laughs> we're going to be doing... <laughs> we're going to be doing a, a course that basically... Um, helps you understand the steps that you need to take to get into those either pro leagues or to just getting competing in general yo proud of you homie good stuff dude it's definitely not easy you're more than welcome homie we got a we got a 4k guide coming out later this week so stay tuned yes sir all right i'm gonna eat my new year's food i'll be back sounds good milky have fun make sure to save me some bites we meet at last. Oh, you're good, bro. It's only 1,000 more damage. You got the first three, right? You can, you can, you can definitely scoop oh, up another one. I thought you were someone else. <laughs> this is awkward. All right, gang. This is gonna be our last game. So, exclamation mark Discord. Hop in our Discord server. Exclamation mark Coaching. If you're ever interested in getting coaching, and we will be on later tonight for the coaching live streams. I don't know why homie didn't pull up today. Oh my God! Look at this man. Look at, look at the predators. Oh no, it's a predator team. I'm three stacking. I'm three stacking pops. Look at me with my fire trail. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a predator. I'm a predator. Come here. It's fucking good falls, bro. Best loadout. Um, the Discord loadout. That's the best loadout. All right, last game, gang, and then we're we're out of five thousand. Time for experiment. 
experimentation, evaluation, and a wee cup of tea. I know all the roads. They all lead to the same place. They can have the ground. I am the sky. Introducing your champion. I just came here and the first thing I heard was, I'm a player. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, Car G7 is a pretty solid loadout, low key. I use the flatline for your TK. Huge, huge. All right, last game, gang. Let's get it. Have a good one, boys. Scratch and Sniff. Is R99 and Wingman solid? Yeah, it's a pretty solid one. You got two up close and one mid. One mid range. That's pretty solid, homie. All right, I need to take a break because I'm actually burning out here. Three hours is more than enough gameplay for me when I'm already not feeling it. Eyes are open though. The champion made a poor choice. Some materials. Yori land. I think I've uh, played with him before. Shield. Void running. Pitching myself up. Half the squad's gone. I got this. Got up there so much faster than I did. Fuck. Good stuff, dude. All right, gang, we're out of here. We're out of 5,000. Um, 
we will be hopefully live later today. No promises. I have no idea. Um, w Riz, appreciate you, man. Yeah, I got the Riz. Oh. I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing, bro. I thought that was Riz. I don't know what Riz is. Anyways, yeah, gang, appreciate everybody stopping by today. Good old, good old memberships. Thank you, everybody who subscribed and member memberfied themselves today. Gang, we love you. We will be hoping to push out some more content in the near future. We got some TikToks and some shorts on the way um, later today and tomorrow, hopefully. And yeah. Gang, oh, hopefully everybody has a great first day of their 2023. Try and make it a good one because today is going to be the foundation of the rest of your year. Right? So go get in a workout. Go get some good food. You know, rest today. If you have the day off, hopefully you got the day off. Just relax. All right? Gang, love you. Thank you so much for stopping by. We will see y'all later today or tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>